So if there's one thing I forgot to do, Agni and Rudra over here. Is this going to be a dev message? Pull back? Nope. Pull onwards, sir. My, uh, wait. That doesn't sound right. Okay, so this, the smart way to do this, which is going one on one, but fuck it. Let's see how this goes. So I've been farming a bit um, to get some chunks. Everything's only at plus seven at max. Um, haven't gone any further than that because, you know, I, I'd like to get to plus eight, plus nine, etc. on camera. So let's just try to finish this one off. Um, I've created a ton of stuff, including shit I haven't been using much. Just give it a sec. There we go. Perfect time to drink. So, yeah, farming the, uh, the Grave Wardens quite a bit. Oh, one second. Last of his kind. Yeah, farming the uh, Grave Wardens quite a bit. Ah, uh, for whatever reason, this bloody thing does way more damage on backstabs than the, um, Cuffer's Curve Greatsword. Where is it? I totally skipped over it. I mean, I'm dumb. There we go. Um, I'm assuming it's just, like, for balancing purposes, but boy. It's kind of weird. Because that thing's stronger right now. Um, just go through what I've got on me really, really quickly. Because we're going to Lothric Castle today, as the title should no doubt imply. So, let's see. Do, do, do. What's the plus seven right now? We saw a greatsword. Do, do, do. That, obviously. Black Blade. Mace, I should get up to plus seven eventually as an alternative. Um, yeah, I'd like to use that eventually. Those are pretty close. I played around with them. I'm not the best with these things, but yeah. This thing's pretty decent, but it's a spear, so you know. Not the best. I really, really want to muck around with this eventually, so might swap to a pseudo strength build one day. Or for one part or so. Alright, well, I could go to plus eight, but that would be clever, so we're not doing that. I've got a fuck ton of souls. I can't remember if I bought everything off Uria. So let's just. Ch Sorry, Carla. No, I haven't. So let's just start doing this. Bingo. Now let's just check in, in on Orbeck incredibly quickly. Back at perfect. Uh huh. I've got every, everything for the meantime. Promise to stay safe. And I've got everything off Cornix and everything off Arena. Thankfully, th thankfully, there's going to be some cool shit we're getting for Arena today. Alright, let's do this. So I've mentioned a few times about Lothric Castle. And about um, how things are a little weird here sometimes. There's some oddities that occur in Lothric Castle. It's not, a, it's not a bad area, it's a good one. Well, first of all, there we go. How strange is that? Crossbows, projectiles, not uh, not going through walls. That's odd. Oh, and I'd like to reiterate, yeah, the Flamburst is just really bloody strong. It's just really good. Yeah, so we have this guy who amazingly didn't get me. Normally, that would have counted. Yep. Yeah, fuck. Dang. Thought I wouldn't use them swear words today. Gosh darn. I'm bother. Alright. Don't have a lot to say yet. We're about to in a moment. Uh, so. Wing Knight up here. You can see his axes. He's very stealthy. He's also very clever. We go. I've had some practice, but I'm probably going to get rolled caught once or twice by that. Bang. Beautiful. Damn. I mean, that's still fine. Large shards are welcome, but come on, chunks or twin axes. Speaking of which, I'll totally farm for them, for them eventually. And yeah, I uh, I missed this the first time somehow because I'm clever. Wing Knight stuff. Sacred Bloom Shield. The lock shield from Bloodborne, effectively. 
Taking the fast way. That's an invader shortcut. Alright, real quick, let's have a look. Sort by weight, because it's right down the bottom. No, we're not fat shaving. Armor of Wing Knights who swore themselves to the angels. The fuck are they? Where, where are the angels? Anyway, excuse me. Uh, worship of the divine messages was viewed as heresy in Lothric and unrecognized by any of the three pillars of rule. This is believed to be why Gertrude, the heavenly daughter, was imprisoned in a lofty cell of the Grand Archives. In the lofty cell of the Grand Archives. And as for this little shield, some cool shit. Very good against magic, mediocre against everything else. Treasured antique of the Way of the White, known as the Sorcerer's Bane. The large blossom design that graces this shield is said to be a sacred flame and that the shield is blessed with high magic protection. And unlike other stuff, it can parry spells. Okay, so here we go. Here's the fun times. So no, you didn't hallucinate, in case you don't know. Um, I don't know what the fuck happened in Lothric Castle. But yeah, once you get past, past here, these archers, every other archer in the castle just, for some reason, can fucking wall hack you. I am clueless as to why, and why they've never fixed it. I'm gonna get a hit. Haha, -ha. bullshit rolls. I haven't actually tested with the first archers and them shooting back. Wait, no, no, I have. I just can't remember the uh, results. Hey, that's neat. Oh, we're being invaded. Well, fuck this. Bonfire hoy. Wait a minute. Now's a chance. Where is it? Quick. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. Now, we're going to play a little game. If this takes too long, I'm going to cut shit. But here we go. I'm excited to see how this one goes. So, I've always wanted to make a little series based around this idea. I've mentioned it before, the whole disguising yourself. I think I can hear him. Could be wrong, though. Um, works really well in the Undead Settlement. If you have the rake and all the goodies. Just slumbering dragon crest up to, um, up to some villages at the start. And just do this. Just stand two-handing the rake. And there's a good chance they'll never fucking notice. If this takes too long, I'm just gonna reveal myself, but... Kinda curious. They plunging attack me good on them, that's that's majestic. An invader is an invader, even in Lothric Castle. And no, we're not calling for help because no blue sentinels. Ah oh, damn, this is a shame, because I want to show off the whole fucking jump you can do. Got to work a few times. It's um up one of the great swords, like this just here. You can jump over the wall where dragons are. Alrighty, you good, man? Oh. We don't have a lot of poise on us. Out of stamina, you ought to be careful here. Oh, there's Mimic Kun in the background. Damn, well played, man. Well played. I fucked that up royally. You know what I should have used? Because I'm a total dumbass. The fucking whip. Duh. <laughs> Why did I forget? The whole fucking reason I'm going to dex build. Ah oh, well, good on you dude. Fun fight. I totally scrubbed that out hardcore, but... Right. 
let's get back to my usual fashion. Cool, we got that out of the way. Uh, t -t 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 where are we? Sunset. Right. I'll be embering back up in a second. I just want to get past this. Um, so yeah, you got to be careful because these fuckers will just... Um... Well, they can shoot right near the bonfire. It's cool. It's, it's, it's a neat mechanic. Definitely love it. It's not irritating or bullshit at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's... It's weird because out of Dark Souls 1, DS2, and this... Oh, that's right. You're there. Wrong spot. Oh, roll catch. Good one. Um, out of the three Dark Souls games, this one had the most... Well, I'm, I'm thinking it probably had the least developmental trouble, I guess. I mean, I don't know that for certain. Making an assumption. Oh, yeah. We've been Lloyd's Talisman, so I've got to be very careful here. Because, you know, as always... Um, these guys have some cool hitboxes where they hit you before the animation, you know, completes. It's good shit. Um, but yeah, no, it's just weird. This one specific area has this bug. I can't think of anywhere else in the game that has it. It's really fucking weird. Alright, so what are we now? Seven chunks. Cool, cool, cool. Now we'll handle that later. Right, 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 right. There's a bunch of cool little things going on up here, like the side path where the winged knight is and a talisman throwing friend. Yep. He's got quite the arm, that guy. Right. Great Lance is just up there. We'll be grabbing that in a second. And once this is worn off and we've, you know, taken care of this guy, I'll ember back up. So that's the great sword just here. No? That's the one, sorry. Right there. The really long Lothric Knight Sword. Poke this guy. It's kind of strange we never got a Lothric Knight actually using the the, uh, the Lance. Would have been neat. A great Lance. There we go. It's a cool weapon. I like this thing a lot. Uh, Dang It James' video a, uh, a while back was pretty fucking rad too. It features a long pole. Hmm, crazy. And was originally intended to be used by knights for jousting. This weaponry is primarily used in charging attacks, and would require tremendous strength and dexterity to be handled by a mere foot soldier. Lances are pretty fun in DS2. I don't know how meta they are, but... I, I, well, when was it? It was probably back during Twilight Princess when I explained I was, well, screwing around in DS2 with a great lance. It was actually quite fun. Um, I got a lot of the way through the game, actually, before I kind of just lost interest. So here we go. If you, yep, that's the way. Got it. Beautiful, so I know how to do it properly now. Fantastic. Well, I guess we'll go this way to start off. Uh, two hollows down there, one over there and one down here. Uh, I think you can tell what's going to happen. That. So yeah, more, uh, more hollows to just fucking shoot for walls because cool and normal the biggest problem is when you you know normally be nice and safe i was thinking of which um our buddy down there is going to try really fucking hard to clip us on top of that so cool 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 so of course you know you couldn't be blamed for using the usual strategies i walked into that by the way that's my bad of trying to divide and conquer well and using a wall to cover yourself, only to get nailed by the crossbow bolt, because, of course. There's, um, there's a door here as well, actually. Near the Sun Bros. Oh, by the way, there's fucking no point to taking out these tools. Let's fight them. Fuck it. Let's fight them, and then we'll ember up. That's my plan, at least. This is the Great Shield one. Probably should have targeted Great Sword Boy. You gotta be careful, of course. Because these guys deal a fuck ton of damage. And this guy actually has poise. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, lads. Radio. Um, and there's a Boreal Knight down in the basement. So fuck it, I lied. We'll ember up after taking out him. Uh, well, after taking out this guy. Who has a weirdly specific aggro range. A really, weirdly specific aggro range where... If you approach from there, even when he didn't know you were around, he'll fucking look at you. 
I just don't understand the mechanics behind it. Oh yeah, so the dragons are totally alive, by the way. Um, the little jump I did made it so they didn't aggro now. Here we go. Hey, doing, buddy? So yeah, you can totally parry these guys. I'm just shit at it. I gotta back up. So the, the traditional coward technique is to back all the way up the stairs. Works quite well. So of course he can clip me, so why don't we clip him? Fuck boy. That's the roll catch. I shouldn't have gone for it. Now I'm pretty sure, yep, that breath will go through the stairs. So, danger, watch yourself. Oh, man. Oh, I fucking hate these guys so much. It's just because I'm really shit at fighting them. But they're bound with stamina. Oh, the way they just clip needless... Well, with reckless abandon is what I should say, rather. Oh, it's just really fucking aggravating to fight against. And here's all the chests I missed the first time. I found them later on when I was going through um, and just combing the area, but boy, it took me a bit to find them. No mimics, surprisingly. One just a few floors above us, actually. Two stories up. Yeah, I never actually looked at this roof. It's not particularly interesting, just stating, stating um, the fact I haven't. Because I'm a clever guy. Right, so here we go. You see, uh, there's this game called Demon Souls, right? And uh, I think FromSoft liked it quite a bit. Also, it's symbolic of Lothric and Lorien. Because, you know, they're, uh, they're... They're twins, like the dragons. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Hey, this is that room I've talked about before. Where even if you're fucking hidden body up, the hollows know where you are for some reason. It's uh, kind of weird. The reason I touched the ladder, by the way, was so the hollows would jump down. I could just climb up here. Um, I'm hoping to demonstrate the whole um, hidden body thing eventually, sooner or later. It will just require me um, coming back here with a different build, potentially, and recording it. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a puzzle man, because, you know, why not? Normally I'd be doing this the opposite way, but... Oh well, I nailed the jump first time. And now the dragons are awake. So yeah, um, you're intended to rock up there. The dragons see you. We get out of here. Fuck me. Um, and you go, nope, and you jump down the side. There's an undead um, bone shard just on that platform there. Just underneath the uh, overhang of the bridge. So we'll be grabbing that in a moment. But for the meantime... I guess we're going for it. Hey, fuck it. So these guys have a unique mechanic. Um, compared to the other passive man. Or passive men, perhaps. Other than the fact I threw that a bit early. They will spit some curse shit like Evil Act. In fact, let's see if he... Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. That counted as three swings for whatever reason. Neat. I mean, I'm not complaining. He's dead now. So more chunky chunks. That should be 10. Oh, it's 11. Oh, nice. 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 Good shit. Good shit. Ah, uh, come on, you. Ah, uh, two. Come on. Yep. Now, excuse me one second. There we go. Just fixing up my chair. Yeah, so we have another one of our Latin buddies. Also, I'll be heading out there in a sec. But we have some thieves on that side of the wall. Who I've pissed off and I've now killed. Fantastic. That's the Mimic right there, by the way. Well, one of two. But before we do any more, let's do this. There's an item here to grab. There's a Lothric Knight who gets very pissy. A priest who's going to buff him. See? Very pissy. 
and that opens the gate that I paid like no fucking attention to because I didn't do this the usual way because of course not now did he drop anything no he didn't I just saw this earlier cool Titanite scale so we've got quite a few of those we're gonna get a few more in fact all right yep all right open up buddy knock knock open up the chest is real with a non-stop R1 spam of stainless steel. First we're gonna rock, then we're gonna roll. Don't know why I quote DMX every once in a while, I barely fucking listen to his music. I am not one of the cool kids who was into the hip hops. Well that much at least, like what? I've, I've referenced, you know, Public Enemy and such. Um, Beastie Boys, you know, truly the most gangster of all hip-hop artists. Oh, hey, buddy. Fuck you. Yeah, think about it, that whip would have fucking helped quite a bit. So when I threw that alluring skull, there's a hollow that hangs out here. He would have been one of the first to get pissed off. Yeah, so I think you can tell how this room's meant to work. Sorry, let's do that again. Yep. I think that surmises that nicely. Right, so now we're taking care of that. Let's go this way. I'll go home. That guy gets very pissy and has a huge fucking aggro range. Just want to reiterate that for when I come back. So I've never actually checked if invaders can see you in here. Because if not, fucking perfect. And yes, that is another pusser man hanging up up there. That guy's foot. Don't know why they're so into dragon feet, but... Yeah, no, you know what, I'm gonna judge. Too many memories of Hooktail and Gloomtail from Thousand Year Door. That's for damn sure. Now, Puzzle Man's still gonna be pissed off down that away, but... Fuck that. Ain't got time for that. Ain't got time for that at all. I am contemplating whether or not to uh, go to Plus 10 immediately. Given I, you know, I can, I can plus 10 the whip and the flamberge. Or if I'm going to spread it out a bit. Alright, yeah, 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 come on, do your thing. Come on. You gotta come here. No, no, I'm not walking forward. You're coming here so I can shove the thing off, you fuck. Alright, come on. You come forward. No. You come forward. I've hit you. Fuck this. Muda muda. Yeah, funny how the uh, knives work in this game. Am I right? Okay, so if you're a pyromancer, this is way easier, but... Damn it. You want to try that again, buddy? Excuse me? How about you fuck off? Yeah, so, uh... Thieves. Yeah, no, we triggered him. There's one hit. And there's one over there. There's my angel buddies. Get good. Yeah, so crystal lizards obviously meant to run up this way. You take the bait. Get fucking ambushed by several thieves. Good times. Good times. Hmm. That, that, that's a lot of fun, that. Radio. We have chunks here. Who we have managed to avoid somehow. Let's just be quick about it. Snipe the crossbow. Um, not a very good thing. Still in this game. So, in its absence from DS2, um, hasn't improved very much. At least you can aim in this game. Unlike DS1. Alright, here we go. One. Uh -huh. I'm not even going to bother trying to count that. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, 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 spin, spin, spin. It says person who fucking loves your weapons so much. I'll be farming them later on. To an axe and his buddy up there. Again, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. A phrase I utter a lot in these. Nah, fuck it, let's keep going. No time to, no, well, there's time to head back, but fuck it, why bother? Hmm. I'm going to get the shortcut activated, of course, but I'm just trying to fathom what else we're going to do. OK, 
Okay. Now, the bows were heavier, right? Yep, uh, of course. Okay, Ferris is finally stronger. I should probably upgrade, you know, that more than not, not at all. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Because he's already seen us. So we're gonna stop buffing shenanigans. Here he comes. A dinosaur, sorry. Oh, fuck you. You wanna try that again, buddy? Yep. I, uh, I deserve that one. But boy, that second swing was fucking fast. Hmm. They aren't the Cathedral Knights, to be fair. These guys, you know, actually do stop. I just wasn't expecting to get, well, fucked that hard, that quickly. But, um, buff the Lothric Knight Sword is uh, nothing to trifle with. I will Ember up once we've killed him. Holy shit, my hollowing's up to 56. When the fuck did that happen? Whew. Well, yeah, I should also point out the fact of, um, Judas Ceremony with Henry, and I still haven't got the straight sword now, I think about it. I haven't gone back yet. Ain't no Wu-Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. And as you can see, he's trying to clip us. Hardcore. Shit ain't gonna fly in my house, though. So. How about you fuck yourself? Um, because we've done the ceremony, we did the ceremony. Um, we now have Dark Eight Sigils. Ooh, lucky there. They do twist a lot, lot like the Black Knights. Also, I don't know what happened there with the uh, frames. We dropped some, I guess, on the PS4. Um, but yeah, we have eight, which means we've only got to die twice to hollow out. So, fuckboy McGee's trying to buff. Come on. So, we got to try to get past this. If only we had some kind of long-range projectile that scaled incredibly well with decks. If only such a thing existed, am I right? Fucking hell. So yeah, you've uh, you got to be careful with these guys. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way my character is built. Huh. This is fucking weird. Normally they're not this much trouble. I mean, obviously, when I'm here at, like, level 14, they're gonna fucking one-shot me, so I just cheese them out. But holy shit. I think I'm gonna run from that badass to start off, and then we'll see how we go from there. Because, at about here, this is where they wimp out and can't get you. And they'll start to do the whole walk-away thing where they'll let you backstab you. Or oh, well, they'll let themselves be backstabbed. Okay. Yep, he's doing the Silver Knight thing. Huh. There's an item over here, and there's an item over there. And we're gonna art one you twice. And we're gonna bait you, fucker. You know what? This is gonna be dumb. Let's do it. This guy's aggro range is fucking huge, though. Hold on, let's see. Do these work against you? Yes, they do. Let's breadcrumb this fucker. Come on! Come on, boy! Come on! Come on! Go on down the shortcut. Come on. So this will take us down back to where we started off. See you later, nerd. He's alive. Unless he clip. Yep. He's alive and pissed off. So that's the start of Lothric Castle. He, he made the journey somehow. Good on him. Good on him. So now the fastest way to get up here is um, from the bonfire I used to run to Osiris. Now this door is kind of weird. S similar reasons. Fire bombs don't go through. I don't remember the circumstances, but my great chaos fireball has gone through this fucking door. In fact, hold on. I don't know what it is, but yes, there's just something wrong with Lothra Castle. I wish I knew, I wish I knew what was going on, but there's just something fucking weird about some of these walls and doors. And, and yes, down there is our pus boy. Fun. Oh, and yes, straight ahead. Um, more ar um, archers, more snipers. 
That should be Cirrus. And Egon's in there. Yeah, that's Cirrus's summon sign. Alright, um, yeah, these guys can clip us. Fun. Lovely. Yeah, we, uh, we've got another buddy. Come on. Get to it, lads. No one can survive a fall like that. Did he? Ah, he died. Eat shit. And yeah, nothing up here for some reason. Feels really empty. I'm pretty sure both Cinders and Convergence have a Mimic chest up there. You can land on these bookshelves, but it's not like it gives you much of a... Much of an advantage. Knight's Ring. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look. Because the Hunter's Ring's at the end of the archives. Nope. Okay, 31 compared to... Yeah. Okay. Hunter Ring's going to be better if I bother with that. I was hoping to try to replace it, if anything. Hey, buddy. You see that alluring skull over there? Now, he's quite pissed off. Because I'm, um... I met the statue that survived Irvin Peak and Lothric. Fuck me. Oh, boy. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Oh, boy. These guys never normally give me this much trouble. It's kind of weird. So, yeah, hypothetically, you can keep doing that. If you had 45 decks, it'd be really good. Or if I was using the uh, Sage's Ring. And it, you know, it is nice that sometimes they don't have the same player rules as us and they just want two hand spam through us, for our boys. Oh boy. Yeah, those guys normally don't give me that much trouble. I don't know what's going on tonight. Praise the sun. So, Offering 10 will give us, I believe, Solaire's Sword. Oh, we couldn't have... We only we were here in 10 messages time. Time. If it was a yellow um, summon here, I'd totally use them, but doesn't look it. Yeah, um... It's Solaire's Sword, and then it's whatever sunlight. Uh, the fucking buff. Sacred Oath, that's right, from DS2. Yes. DS2, not 1. I think that's correct. I know I should be right, but I want to say for some reason Sacred Oath was in DS, um, DS1. Um, yeah, so this lift doesn't work, even though there's no fucking reason it should, yeah. It shouldn't. Um, can't be invaded there either, because if you summon Cirrus and, um, Cirrus and Egon... Fog wall right here. Now we need to make a bit of a jump. I don't remember which part it was in. Red Tear Stone, by the way. But I was saying it would be really cool if this place up ahead, the Grand Archives, um, you could, like, fall down from the roofs and get all the way to the bottom. I kind of wish this Consumed King's Garden and the Archives were all followed that kind of philosophy. Sorry, one second again. Bloody computer chair. Don't know why it's doing this to me tonight. Pretty sure there's nothing down here. It's just in the mods. But let's check. Yeah. But as you can see, look. There's all that fucking space down back. Because that's Osiris' crib right there. Makes me wonder if stuff got cut from the rear. Wouldn't make sense geographically. But it'd be cool if it was like Ulusil Garden from um, Arturius of the Abyss. For DLC. That'd, that'd be really fucking rad. The Royal Wood. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what it's called. Alright, so let's have a look at this shit real quick. Red to Tearstone Ring. Said to be a tear of mourning of the goddess Kaitha. And of course, tears are always most beautiful near death. If you're on low HP, you have an attack buff for that hyper mode. Kaifa's Chime. Sacred Chime blessed by Kaifa, goddess of tears. Rare even amongst Kareem clerics. Affected by intelligence, a rare thing for miracle catalysts. And also agreeable with miracles that lean to, to lean towards the dark. Its existence is concealed in the name of the Archbishop, as it is an anthema or whatever. 
I'm assuming that means uh, shouldn't be a thing. Because, you know, why would clerics, you know, like for dark? Anyway, there's something up with these guys' aggro range to counterbalance our fuck boyfriend. Let's see. Yep, as you can see, he's running up to us right now, actually. Kind of strange. And, oh, that's right. Dipshit got pissy and ran and fell down the lift. Awesome. Well, let's just... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, let's take a second and think. But no, it's just here. It's this item. Hey, Nate, thank you. Which one? Do, 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 do. Wasn't. Maybe it was that one. Yeah, poor. You're poor. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Right, yeah. Yeah, nothing going on here. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, damn it. I knew that wouldn't work. My own hubris bit me. Bit me in from behind. Get good. So there's a man who got fucked up by you guys several times. Sunlight metal. Rad. That's right. That's the last thing we need to, to take care of. Wow. Stilted way of speaking tonight. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, but... but ugh, fucking hell. Christ. We're almost done at least. So that's nice. He's dead, so that's cool. That's all taken care of. And get the hell out of dodge. So he's doing that spitting attack. I'll demonstrate that in a sec. And finally, there's a tome right ahead. Now, let's think. Okay, now, what do you get from the fucking... It's not the Sunlight Straight Sword, because we get that there. I'm an idiot. What am I thinking? You get Sacred Oath, and it's something else. Another... I remember, actually. Alright, where's the Mimic I haven't got yet? Yep, Divine, Divine Rail Tome. Of Loft. Let's have a look at that real quick. If I can go on the right fucking menu. A sacred braille tome from Lofric, filled with miracles for use by knights. Given to a storyteller, a give to a storyteller to learn Lofric miracles. It is said that no paladin inside Lofric Castle could fall, owing to the divine protection they enjoyed. So we finally get some of the cool shit that we've been craving. Give Baron the... the Oh, fuck. The curse he craves. I was going to say, given the buffs he craves. So, notably... Ranged? Notably, we get... Great Magic Barrier. Um... I we'd have a Fire Particle effect still going on. Um, Sacred... Oh, what's it called? Fucking Blessed Weapon. There's a few other bits and pieces. Some cool shit, in general. It's just really lame. You've got to wait this far into, into the game to actually get it. I mean, you know, just beat the dancer, idiot. Yeah, okay. Just let a miracle build beat the dancer, no problem, this early. Yep, sure. And get all the way here just to get all that fucking faith. And then I guess they can start playing the video game. Like uh, Magic and Pyro builds. Yeah, I, it's one of those things with the world design. Um, in how they spread out all the, um, well, all the tomes, I guess. Because by Smoldering Lake, you've got everything you need for Pyro, bar, um, Carla's stuff. And Sorcery, you've got most of it by Profane, well, at Profane Capital, but you've still got to go all the way through the archives. It's really weird. Anyway, I'm going to shut up for a sec. Oh, you've brought me a Braille Divine Tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> so, Bountiful Light is one of us forgetting great... Oh, Magic Barrier. Great Magic Barriers from Arch Dragon Peak. I'm, I'm dumb. And Bless Weapons here. So, real quick. Lots of HP gradually 
Um, Heavenly Daughter is said to be the Queen's Child. Taught by Lothric Knights, blesses the right weapon, increasing attack power, physical attack power or stress, and um, restores HP over time. The Knight is one of the three pillars of Lothric, said to have strengthened ties with the High Priestess after scholars acquired the Grand Archives. Yep, miracle of clerics who wield weapons, increase magic damage absorption by covering the body in a white protective coating. There was a short period in history where clerics and sorcerers opposed one another, thus it became necessary for even simple clerics to have some means of opposing magic. Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. I pray for your safety. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. I was not meant to go. I thank you ever so much, sweet champion. May your solemn duty conclude in triumph. So there we go. Got everything off Arena. Which means she'll move to the Bell Tower now with all the dead Firekeepers and just chill there. And she can level us up just like our own Firekeeper down there. So let's just see if we got a seed of a giant tree from that invasion. Um, how many levels can we get? Two. And yes, I will be sending Grey Rat soon. Not this session, though. Oh, hello. Mm hmm. Nothing new? Cool. Oh, yeah, could. yeah, I could try to look harder, but fuck you, Patches. Now's not the time. Right. So, we're coming up to a really fucking cool boss. And yes, we can give the eyes to the Firekeeper. That ain't happening right now. Farewell, I have no intention on doing that. And yes, I'm being incredibly boring and getting endurance. Because I need it at this point. Ah, Alright. Let's just do this real quick. I totally forgot the bows, to be honest. You know what? Let's do this. If I go to little, um, go to plus eight on camera, that means I'm not... Yeah, fuck it. Let's do this. Now, where, where's the fucking flamberge? Why am I being blind? There we go. Oh, god damn it. I don't have the chunks for it. Alright, well. There you have it. Whip is my first plus ten. Because I'm a fucking genius. Radio. Great. Well done, me. Well done. Sure would have been good to have a, uh, a plus ten flamberge for this fight. But alas. Yes, so now we've got everything in Lothric Castle proper. We cleared out Consumer King's Garden, Untended Graves. We've done here. Now we've got the archives after this boss. I'm thinking I might go to Arch Dragon Peak first, though. Because that's a little more interesting, to be honest. I mean, and it makes more sense to, you know, thematic sense to have the archives be last. Because Lothric and Lorraine, look, I might die once or twice too because I'm a bit out of practice. But I'd rather bash my head against Nameless King because I really like that fight. <laughs> it's a blast. Alright, so let's just get rid of this, this and this. Slap on some Green Blossom. And let's go to town. I really, um, really should invest a little more into my magic stats. Oh, on the plus side, I can get my Pyro Flame up to plus 9 now. So I can just farm away and get as many plus 9 weapons as I want. By that logic. Rat. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, nothing to say during this Snake Eater style elevator. What a thrill, etc, etc. Now that's not going to do anything for us. Yes, that will, that's going to put us overweight. A little bit of regen, meanwhile, will do us fine. How low is our lightning defense? Not incredibly, but that probably would have helped him um, murder us the way he did. So Sirius isn't very good in this fight. 
Um, this is because we helped her out with Hodrick. Egon is a fucking champion though, and he's really bloody cool in this fight. That said, let's do this ourselves. You know what, why don't we... No, 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 no. we'll say like this. I was gonna swap over to the, um... To the Millwood shield, but fuck that. So here's Dragon Slayer armor. So that big old hollow angel decided to possess it. And I missed. Um, and yeah, he's kind of pissed off. I really fucking love this shield. I probably would love the axe too, but I've never actually bothered getting it. It just sucks it doesn't have any deck scaling. Just a shame. Because it would um, incentivize it a little more for me. So we'll see if we can get his cool little Capra Demon jump going. Okay. So, weirdly enough, the shield is what you should be way more scared of in this fight. Also, yeah, this music's sick. His moveset's sick. His armor's sick. His moveset's sick. Standing behind him there is awesome. He's going to go for his swipe, so we get the fuck out of dodge. And about half health. So that's the, uh... What's, what's the Minotaur do from, um, fucking Hades Call? That's, that's what that reminds me of. Or rather, that's what I was reminded of when I saw that. I was reminded of DS armor. DSA. So now the uh, Hollow Angels are kind of pissed off. That's a Capra Demon jump. I'll have to include that clip at the end of this where he fucking literally Capra Demon me. Um, you gotta be careful because if you back up too much, He's probably going to slam me here. He's going to do the drag. So, he's going to do that air gust, right? There's a little fountain in the middle of this arena. And that will fucking clip, no problem. Alright. Of course. Alright. This one kill on my bet. I did. Beautiful. Can you stop? Please? Can you fuck off? Thank you pricks get good huh so there's a message just kind of floating down there huh makes me wonder if you can get down there then or if that's just a bug huh that's really neat I could I could I gotta try that one day. That looks fucking cool. Hmm. Wonder if it's like, um, the fucking Golem, um, from DS1, from Iron Golem, where you can get knocked down there. You'll die, no doubt, but maybe your souls end up down there because you can technically stand there. Technically. Rightio. Let's just advance a tiny bit more. We got some statues. Nothing over here, however. Mm-hmm. But we do have some stuff around here. There's nothing here, though. <laughs> just just downstairs, so I can technically lie there. Pointless. That, uh, that stone doesn't look too, uh, too good. Mm. Looks a little more low res. Kind of stands out. Yeah, so here's the little suicide cult. Chunk. See you later, Space Cowboy. Yeah, I can see through the world. Lost eyes are left down there. Good shit. Right, so up ahead is the archives, where we will not be going today. One thing to note, however. You'll notice the soapstone is blacked out. That's because, as it stands right now, we can't open these doors. Maybe there's a way to bug through? I don't know. The second we open the door, now we have the key. We can be invaded, we can cop, etc, etc. So let's just get a nice little zoom in on this, shall we? So the serpents, huh? Interesting depiction of them. Where's the statue in particular I'm thinking of? Now, I know there's some theories thinking this could be Aldia. And you know what? I fucking believe that. I don't know entirely, but I'd like to think it is Aldia. There's a big old statue of him further in the archives. 
There's a really big one near the, uh, near the Faram, well, near Albert and Co. Albert, Kamui, and Krimheld. Um, who are going to gank us towards the roof. Anyway, let's peace out of here. So, Grey Rat, um, will ask you, once you get to Lothra Castle proper, if he can go for one last pillage. If you let him, he will die in the archives. Nothing, there's nothing to gain by not letting him go. It's the only way to uh, finish up his arc. The only annoying thing is, if you send him too soon, you lock yourself out of some of his items until you get past Dragon Slayer armor and get a good way through the archives. Yeah, fuck it. Let's be boring. I'm gonna need health and stamina for what's coming up. Damn, we're so close to getting to getting up a little higher. To level 81. Okay, I'll have to get some chunks in the meantime. What do I have to do? I'm pretty sure we've looked at everything bar the night ring. Nothing else to really observe. All the weapons are kind of stock standard. Kaifa's chime. Oh yeah, this right. Spirit tree crest shield. Uh, depicts a spirit tree. Maybe it's Elden Ring. One of the enchanted blue shields, the spirit tree crest shield greatly reduces lightning damage. So excellent against the Lothric Knights. Uh, yeah, no new armor, I believe, other than the Wing Knight, which we had a look at. I bought gun deer shit. I have to try to figure out how to wear that. Some of it, at least. Yeah, but one of the three pillars increases strength. Um, and they're allowed to rear dragons. That totally didn't backfire. Alright, so I think we're good tonight. Um, done everything in Lothric Castle. Sweet, so I guess that means Ask Dragon Peak is next. Great. Oh, wait, sorry, there is one thing we can do. So now we've beaten Dragon Slayer armor. Someone's quest line has finished up. We should go pay our respects to our fallen comrade. Let's take this route. Yeah, let's not go to the back way for once. Let's make this a little more active. Because we have Silver Cat. Yeah, so um, now Dragon Slayer armor's dead. Um, Egon's finished up effectively. What a badass. So it's um, Abyss Watchers and Dragon Slayer armor have to be defeated. And then Egon will do what need us be done thou list. yes of course so i'm gonna be using his armor because i fucking love it a lot maybe not the whole set but i will be using the chest in particular at some point let's give him a show lads Here. hey bertha Bastard's, Bastard's curse. curse. Thank you for the robe. Don't need it. Oh, really? Really? Wow. No fun allowed, huh? I know what I said. Bitch. Yeah, it would have been way faster going that way, but yeah. John Quinn's dead. Egon's dead. Near where we met him. So this is his old lantern, from the Charles Dungeons, no doubt. And here he is. Rest in peace, badass. We have your hammer and the shield. So, moaning, uh, moaning shield. It's something alright. It's fucking heavy is what it is. 50 strength. Deformed great shield given to Egon of Kareem upon being conferred knighthood. The giant woman's face that protects Egon is that of his sister, some years his senior. Its skill is moan, offer a gentle prayer to the shield, causing the woman's face to give it a low moan that attracts enemies. That is somewhat bugged sometimes. Kind of strange. Meanwhile, Morn's Great Hammer, one of my favorite weapons in this whole fucking game. Great Hammer bestowed upon Kareem Knights with, demonst with demonstrate... What? <laughs> Great Hammer bestowed upon 
Kareem Knights who demonstrate a standing strength and unwavering faith. I guess is what it should be. I've never read that too closely. What the fuck? Decorated by a warding chi a charm of, of Kareem Temple and imbued with the twisted rage of Apostle Morn. Morn's rage. Um, it's a Wrath of the Gods with some poise. Can't use it, but as you'll see, our poise jumped right up. There's nothing particularly different about this other than this Leto's Great Hammer and Smoke's Great Hammer have higher poise health. So, they're the ultra Great Hammers, effectively. And yeah, 50 strength, 30, uh, 30 faith. Quite a bit. Anyway, we're good. We've survived. I'm going to farm some shit up in the meantime. Thanks for coming along. Uh, yeah. See you at Ask Dragon Peak. We'll see you, see you at Irrefill Dungeon, I guess. Alright. Guess we'll do it again. Catch you later.